So the other thing a lot of people were asking about is if you just have a graph, how do you find um, the equation for it? And I want you to think of everything as being relative to the asymptote. Asymptote is the first place you want to start. And uh, I can identify this asymptote here, right? This curve right there, or that straight line, I mean. Pretend I can draw a straight line on my computer. That's your asymptote. And so uh, the asymptote is at y equals five. So I know that my equation, my equation for this curve is going to be something times something to the x plus five. I know we get the plus five just from the asymptote. The next thing I want is I want to know how is the curve changing with respect to the asymptote. And what I'm noticing is that usually the y-intercept is a nice point to use. Okay, so look at this. I see this as negative 3. How do I get negative 3? The y-intercept is three steps below the asymptote. And, you know, normally when we were teaching basic exponential functions when the asymptote was 0, we put the y-intercept right here in the first location. Same idea. The y-intercept still goes there, except you just need to relate it back to the asymptote. So because it was three steps below the asymptote, it's like a negative three. That also explains why my curve goes down to negative infinity, because that's a vertical reflection. Negative would make it point down like that. Now I need to look at the trend. How does it change relative to the asymptote? It's three steps below. When I go to x equals one, where am I? Can I get it exactly? 3.5. Well, that's one and a half steps below. So we were three steps, then we were one and a half steps. Then if we go here, it should be 4.25. That follows the pattern. Try to get it there. Oh, almost 4.25. Well, that's 0.75 below. So what did we just notice? We had a pattern where we were three steps below, 1.5 steps below, 0.75 steps below. That's getting half as close, half as close, every time. That's your function. Everything is related to the asymptote. So I'm going to pause this and put a new graph in there and do one more example. Do the really smooth pause. All right, so here's your new example, uh, second example. I you know, chose kind of a gross number for this one just to try to make sure that no matter how hard the numbers are, we can do this. So what's our process? We start with the asymptote. Asymptote here. Man, I cannot draw a straight line. That's okay. The asymptote is y equals negative 1. Hope we can all see that. So same basic structure. We've got a, a y-intercept place, a multiplier, x power, and a minus 1 because of our asymptote. So now let's try to get the y-intercept. Clicking... Where is it? There we go. 0 0.877. 0 0.877. How is that related to negative 1? Well, if you if you look at that, it is, um, well, you can do subtraction. Um, so if we did uh, negative 0 0.877 minus negative 1, we get 0 0.123. So kind of a silly number, but 0 0.123, maybe you could have done that in your head, but that is how high above the asymptote we are. So that plays the role of our y-intercept. So let's get rid of that place and put in our y-intercept 0.123. Now all we need is how it changes relative to the y-intercept. So let's mark our first point was 0.123. Let's go to x equals 1 to see how it changes. Here, let me erase that asymptote. It's kind of getting in the way of seeing that point. Um, okay, so when we go to x equals 1, what do we get? Come on, work with me. Negative 0 0.631. Okay. Let's do the same little subtraction thing. Negative 0 0.631 minus negative 1. What does that give us? 
that gives us 0.369 if I'm not mistaken, 0 0.369. Okay, maybe you can see a pattern here. We're going from 1, 2, 3 to 369. What happened to our numbers? They got three times bigger. We can double check this by looking at some other points and seeing if it continues to follow a times three pattern. But three is a nice whole number, so I feel pretty confident about it. Let's just double check it real quick with one more point. If I go to x equals 2, can I get it right on x equals 2? Work with me. Uh, keeps wanting to jump to that. Uh, here, I'll zoom in on it. Keeps wanting to jump to the x-intercept. So let's try to get you out of the way. Let's go to x equals 2. Just to be a good little math student, double check our answer here. So if I click right there, x equals 2, we get uh, 0.107, which is 1.107 steps above. And so does that seem like three times our previous answer? Yeah, three times, uh, three point, three times 0 0.369 would be 1.107 with a little bit of rounding in there and... Uh, Feels good about, I feel good about this thing. And you can see it's increasing three times taller every step you take to the right. Three times taller every step you take to the right. So there you go. Please ask for more videos. I'm happy to make these at any time.